Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel, and we're going to have some fighting words. So the results are out, and still, the champ, Canelo Alvarez, he defeated uh, Abney Yildirim in the third round. Well, Abney quit in the third round. Um, in my personal opinion, just do not lack of fighting back. Um, I said it was going to be an early stoppage, and sure enough, it was an early stoppage. Um, I can break down the fight pretty much. Canelo, I mean, there's only three rounds. Pretty much Canelo came out with a, a solid jab. He worked it, and maybe for every three, four punches he would throw, Abney would throw one jab back. Um, and most of the time he was missing. Canelo was slick. Canelo was straight to business. Like I said, in the weigh-in, he looked serious. He looked all about business. No funny business, so no play or anything like that. And he came out in such a way. Uh, he asserted himself early. He planted himself in the center of the ring. He took full control from the beginning of the bell. He established his jab. The second round, he loosened up. Um, Canelo, like I said in the first video, he opened up with a lot of body shots. The first round, he just got warmed up with the jab. Perfect jab. He was pretty much hidden every time. Like I said before, I mean, he has a high guard. This is literally all he does. He doesn't back up. He doesn't go side to side. He doesn't see that going this way isn't going to cut it. So he, he angles off. He doesn't do any of that. He's the type of guy who will literally just weather the storm and keep going forward. And it did not work for him. The second round, that's when Canelo really opened up. He opened up with a lot of combinations. And like I said in the first video, he went straight to the body. Everything ended in a, a hook to the body. And then by the end of the second round, he started with those uppercuts. Those uppercuts were getting hot, and I said it that, that also in that, the, uh, the previous video. He was going to open up those uppercuts. They were going to be a key factor, and sure enough, they were. He pretty much closed out the second round with uh, a lot of firepower, where Abney was not answering anything back. He would try. I mean, he was the bigger man. He tried to assert himself, but... Canelo wasn't having none of that. He was stuck to him like, like glue. But then when Abney would try to throw back, Canelo had legs. Abney doesn't have legs. I told you that as well. He doesn't have legs. He only moves forward. Um, Canelo would get out of the way. But once Abney would throw his one or two punches, Canelo would jump right back in and continue with the attack. Um, he just fought beautifully. He, he fought masterfully. Uh, he... Truly, the, the definition of boxing is to hit without getting hit. Canelo didn't get hit. Canelo didn't get a scratch. Canelo was ready to go on May 8th because he didn't get any type of damage whatsoever from this fight. Um, the third round, Canelo once again came out with combinations. Everything would have either an uppercut to finish with or a hook to the body to finish with. He did a lot of body work in that third round. There was also a knockdown earlier um, in the second round, I do believe. But that third round, I there was one sequence uh, of punches that came all through, or I counted at least 12 punches. And they all hit the mark. And Avni did nothing. He just stood there, and like I said, he's just gonna weather the storm. He, he kind of retreated for a slight moment. He backed away, and then, came back into position where Canelo could hit him again, you know, and it, it's a little thing about pride. I mean, I get it. You're the bigger man and I get it. You know, you're fighting for a purpose, but at some point you need to change your strategy because it's not working. And although I don't know exactly what they were saying in the corner, I would hope to think somebody would have told them something different. I mean, it's basic boxing one on one. If you're getting hit repeatedly, like in combinations, you can always just simply tie the guy up. You can simply just angle off. If this is not working for you, try a new angle. That's all you gotta do. He didn't do any of it. He literally stayed in the same position, planted his feet the whole time. And after every time he would get hit, he would be the one to advance forward as if he were gaining ground or something like that. It, I don't know. It just amazed me that, like I said, I don't know exactly what was said in the corner, but I, I want to believe somebody said something different, like maybe you should try this. 
Maybe you should try this. Maybe you should try going to the body. Maybe you should try holding his arms. Maybe you should try uh, roughing him up and wrestling him a little bit, just to back him off you because you are the bigger guy. If you just rough him up a little bit, push him around a little bit, maybe maybe we'll we'll get some more success. None of that. Absolutely none of that. Um, by the end of the third round, they go back to their corners. Avni doesn't want any more. His face is red. Um, looks really swollen, and the fight was called off. Uh, it last, uh, it was a lot shorter than I said. I, I, I figured, I only said five or six rounds, so I figured Canelo would want to take advantage of getting some extra rounds in. But Canelo's pretty active, so he doesn't necessarily need it. Um, and if you can skate through and you can just knock this guy off, I mean, it's not like Canelo got hurt. He certainly didn't get hurt. He didn't really get hit. Nothing happened to him. He looked just as great going out as he did coming in. So there was no, no nothing on his end, but um, he looked amazing. And I said it would be a fun fight. It was a fun fight. I mean, there wasn't much to it, but it was a fun fight. It wasn't the longest fight, but it was a fun fight. Um, I'm just excited for the next fight, which is Canelo versus Billy Joel Saunders on May 8th. I do already have a video for that posted up. But because this fight was first, I am going to go back over that video with another video coming soon. Uh, but you tell me what you think down below. And as always, you drop a comment and like and subscribe.